So I pretty much just showed you guys how to get Optifine. And that, like I said, it just makes the game run a lot smoother. And it helps if you have a lower end laptop or an older computer. Or just you want to play Minecraft with a, you know, just smoother. It helps performance. FPS, lag, whatever you're suffering, Optifine will probably fix it. Alright? But Optifine is a little bit more complex than that. It comes with a thing called shaders right and everything you see right now is vanilla minecraft no adjustments optifine doesn't change anything you can adjust minimal things like you know leaves particles it helps it helps with that but you can also do this i go here video settings shaders i'm going to show you guys how to in, it, uh, shaders comes with optifine but these two things that i have right here you got to install separately, which I will help you all do. But we're going to click on this. Remember how everything looks. <laughs> Look at everything now. I mean, come on. This is like a different game. Look at the grass. When you hold a torch... The water. Let's look at the fish that I spent a while getting. Oh yeah. This is unbelievable. And you can do this in regular Minecraft. And people do not know that. And it's easy. Once you have Optifine, the door's open. Because, trust me, it, you're going to want to play more. Look at the lily pad. It moves. And if we press C, we can zoom in. And you can even you can look at these. Look at the sky. The bamboo and everything, everything just looks crazy. I can also actually switch and give you a different. Let's look at this one. And it takes seconds to switch. This one looks a little more. It looks good. They both look very good. Alright. But I think the first one I like a little bit more. When you have it, you can switch it like instantly. I'll show you what to do. Options, video settings, shaders. You click on this. I mean, there's a whole bunch of shader packs right here which you can install, right? Easy peasy. But if you also want to look at some more, just type in shaders. Minecraftshader.com. I think this is I think this is the best website. You go to Minecraft Shaders. This is the one that I installed. It has it's the most one of the most popular ones that you can get. But there's many more. Bliss shaders. We can do this one. You have to turn on ads for this website. The download links are always on the bottom. And it's always the black link. The red one is the one that's the upcoming after the next update. Right? Click download. You click download. You get rid of this right here. Click download again. Because it's always an ad, or just like Optifine, but they need to make money. So we got to respect that 100% because this stuff is not easy. You go to the shader folder, you go here, you go here, you click and you drag. And that's all. You're done. That's it. Close this. I'll minimize this. Let's click on this. Some of these, you know, you need to install a texture pack. To, and it'll make it look better. But, you know, ooh, very clear water. This probably comes with a texture pack, but that's it. And then you're, that's it. That, that's all it takes. And you can switch and you can change certain things the shadow quality, the hand depth. And it's that easy. And that's the way you can play Minecraft permanently. And I'm running it at 184, 187. Obviously, my computer is a little beefy, and it's built specifically for my needs. But look at that through the like. Come on, you, you, look at that. Unbelievable. So that's how you install shaders. It's that easy. If you like that, subscribe, comment, like, and I, whatever you want, I'll post. It's that easy. Thank you.